All right. Hello, welcome back to the channel. It is Sunday, which means I've got a few parcels that I need to get packed up and ready to be dropped off for Monday. Monday is quite a busy day for me, so I can't be spending it packing up stuff from the weekend, so I need to get it done today. It's almost nine o'clock, so we need to get cracking. I packed up most of the items yesterday. This is just a few that came in sort of last night and that I left from Saturday. Let's take a look. First up is that trumpet thing. Do you remember I picked this up from the car boot sale for a pound, I think? I wasn't even sure what it was. Turns out it's a learner trumpet. Paid a pound, sold for £11.25. pence. A packet of 20 halogen bulbs. Paid £3.75, I think, for these from the charity shop a little while ago. I think I might have even done a video on it, to be fair. And these sold for £23.99, free postage. I was sent an offer of £20, counted at £23.99, just to get that postage in. And they accepted. Lovely. Whitbread ashtray. I can't actually remember where I got this from. I think it was from a car boot sale, and I think I might have done a video on it, because this is standing out to me. I wouldn't have paid no more than a quid for this. It does have a little chip on the edge but it's not too drastic. And that sold for 12 99 plus postage, I think. So about £15.50 in total. This one's very heavy, so I don't plan to hold it up too long. It's a holy Bible. This is from my consignment. It sold for £40 plus postage. I think they offered me £30, I counted. Had it listed for about 70 or 80 I think. The um, main cover has actually came away and some of the trim is starting to fall apart, so it's not in the best condition. However, there are people that can professionally rebind those or fix them and repair them, and I'm sure they'll restore this and get it looking beautiful. Next up is the Denon receiver. Now, ages ago, I bought this from a charity shop for £3.50. I couldn't believe it was in there. I was like, what? £3.50? Especially in that shop, this would normally be 15, 20 quid. So I striked while the iron was hot and capitalised on probably somebody mispricing it or maybe they just didn't know who knows three pounds fifty completely forgot i had it while i was cleaning out the unit the other day i found it on a bottom shelf so i was like hey yep i listed it for 49.99 took an offer of 37 pounds i believe plus postage i don't mind that i paid three pounds fifty lovely new inbox world pay card terminal listed it two days ago sold it yesterday 30 pound plus a little bit of postage on top i think that's a great little deal they've got a bargain i did well beautiful and in regards to clothing, would you believe it? If you list it, it will sell. We've got a couple of sales here. This is the Lacoste top that I listed just from the video the other day. Sold for £18 plus postage. And the Dr. Martin's celebrating 50 years jumper has got a little bit of fade to it and some of the cuffs are a bit janky. That was £18 as well. Next up is a pair of Hunter Wellington boots. These are in really good physical condition but cosmetically there's a few marks on still i did try and get most of the mud off but loads of it remained i mentioned that in the description i'm not going to care are they 30 pounds plus postage that's not too bad is it all that clothing just sitting there dead money my goodness gracious me i managed to get through quite a lot of it i have put some of it back i've actually bagged it and i will move for it again but the only reason why i've done that is because i had a influx of whole new bunch of stock yesterday you will see it in yesterday's video or today's video whenever this comes out today is sunday so i need to work on getting some of this brick and brack and hard goods listed today so that's why i've cleared the space this will be cleared once i've done all the packing and then we'll move on to getting some of this down my main focus today is those speakers the stereo and a load of the cameras so let me get this packed currently in the midst of doing my packaging got a couple done and i like to have something on in the background i just wanted to ask you who remembers the crazy frog everybody remembers the crazy frog let's be honest did you know the crazy frog was actually a big scam i'm not going to go into the details but of course it was a big scam it makes perfect sense have a look into it it's on youtube somewhere i've driven from cardiff up to abatillary ian's had an absolute corker it is. <laughs> jesus let me just clean that screen my god oh he's had a nightmare so 200 quid that's what we settled on so ian's had an absolute mare he's found a deal for a hundred pound loads of he-man stuff big bundle actually hundred pound managed to secure the deal gone there the next day to pick it up drove miles and miles to go and get it now when he gets there the wife's going i've had so many messages i've had 400 pound for the and anyway the husband's come flying down the stairs what's going on here ian's in the living room towel between his legs hands in his pockets i'm sure Staring at the figures on the floor going, and the husband's gone. I can't let that go for 100 pound. Someone's offered me 400. Oh. And they've gone back and forth. And Ian's ended up having to pay 200 to get it out of the house. You've said 100 pound. The man's travelled miles to come and get it. Stick to the 100 pound, mate. But you can't work things out between yourselves. 
husband and wife. It's your own problem. Still got a good deal, but how annoying. So I decided, I've done most of the postage, decided to leave these two because I just get bored and I need to break up what I'm doing. The task just gets a bit too monotonous after a while. And they haven't got to be dispatched until Tuesday anyway, but I will do those today. Just need to do something different. So I'm gonna pick a few very simple, easy items from yesterday, just get rid of the small stuff first. The stuff that doesn't need testing, the stuff that just needs a little bit of a wipe down, get that photographed, get that drafted, and then move on to the other stuff. Ghosty. First few items picked, Nespresso pod holder, should be about 15 to 18 pound back on that. Le Creuset, 18 inch casserole dish, volcanic orange quarter, sought after color. Should be about £30 back on that. I'm pretty sure that's the value. I can't remember exactly, but 30 35 quid. And a Polish enamel bread bin. Can't remember the exact value on these, but they're at least 25 quid. They might have increased a little bit. They could have decreased. In fact, there's no way they've decreased. They're going to be at least £25. And this sleeping bag should be 30 quid back on that. And they're all very simple to picture. So I'm going to get those done and then move on to something else. Fuming that this seat is covered in dog hair. But if you need a quick fix, let me show you. Tape, wrap it around your hand. See that hair? Oh, would you believe it? It picks it up. I'll just go around doing this now and get it gone because that is disgusting. I actually decided to put that away again for now because I know as soon as I put it back in that bag, it's going to be full of dog hair in there as well. So I need to set aside probably 10, 15 minutes to really go through that. And I haven't got the time today. Next pick. Hopefully when I'm showing you these things, you might learn something to pick up, by the way, because when I watch your guys' videos, I'm always like, I would never have known to pick that up. So hopefully this way you'll be like, oh, that's a, you know, something worth looking out for. Prime example, this pan. It's a very heavy oh, cast iron pan by a company called Wagner. Now, they do lots of different stuff. This one's made in China. The originals are made, I believe, in Germany. I can't remember exactly. But this is a cast iron skillet pan. It does have, like, signs of age and use and, like, surface rust. But I'm going to put in the description that it needs treating. Now, the next person who buys this, they will heat it up, stick some oil back through it again, treat the pan, and do what they need to do. Some of these can fetch very, very, very good money. I think because this is a more modern one, I do believe, being made in China, it's probably only worth like 25 to 35 pound. But this sort of size with the original vintage Wagner, it's Wagner and something, I can't remember the original. You were looking at probably 40, 50, 60 pound for something like this. So, Wagner, keep a look out. And from yesterday's video, I'm going to get these new rock boots up. If you want to learn a bit more about the brand, head over to the video previous to this one. And this is a Mercedes-Benz truck headlight. I do believe for a lorry. Another big ass truck. We're not talking car. We're not talking van. We're talking a lorry. This is a left-hand side, so passenger side headlight. So, you little sneaker. It. Whoa, look at you. Sit down, Daddy. When I don't want to come to football. I am coming to football, but when I don't, I can sell it on the iPad. Sure. Let me see the outfit. Oh, gorgeous. Look at them boots. Very nice. <laughs> bless her as i was saying this is for a mercedes-benz truck a lorry so hopefully get some good money at this i'm expecting probably two to four hundred pound in a pre-owned condition but i need to do some proper research then prices are only going from a quick search i'll keep you posted just had to go and grab a coffee very quickly so next thing i've picked out is this us mail mailbox thing is it's quite dented it's quite trashed and someone's going to need to panel beat that so i'm going to list it on marketplace for a tenner and get rid of it for yourself about 30 35 quid on ebay in good condition 25 maybe so i think that's going to warrant a facebook marketplace listing quite a cool piece though isn't it this caused quite a stir yesterday on my instagram account through direct messages back and forth with a couple of people who have said they've seen the video and they believe this to be from a lotus i've got one chap who actually lives near the lotus manufacturing garage i don't know what they call it a plant or whatever it's their biggest employer of their area and he's going to go and speak to them tomorrow he's actually out for a drink this weekend with somebody who is seemingly quite prominent in that kind of scene so he's going to speak to him as well i love this community so my plan today is to try and do a bit more diving on my own and see if i can figure out some stuff on this four marks has also sent me some good information regarding diameter of this which matches up to certain things so i'm going to look into that i'm also going to see if i can take this apart and have a little look and see what's in there because what i want to try and find is part numbers. There is a number across this area here, but I believe this is probably a part number just for that section. So I'm gonna take this off and have a look and see if there's anything under here. It's got them vintage dome head, flat head screws. Lovely, let's have a look. All photographs and done. So big thank you to Ben and Graham. Really do appreciate both of your helps. Tango two points 
and Ben Paris four marks. Big up. And I've just found one very similar, if not the same, that has sold recently for £349. I'm hoping I can get anywhere even close to that. So after a lot of research and a lot of help from people on Instagram who saw the previous video, I think I can confidently list this as a Lotus Europa steering wheel and I'm gonna aim high. I'm gonna list it for £499 plus postage. That might be too cheap, that might be too expensive, but I've got a funny feeling that something like this is not gonna last very long and there's gonna be a lot of buyers out there who probably have this saved as a saved search. So when something like this is listed, they get a notification to their phone so i'm going to get that listed now before i finish filming the video just in case we get that in video sale big thank you to the instagram community don't forget links in the description down below please come along and join the daily antics on there let's crack on with some work my next job today is to get this stereo and these speakers tested cleaned and photographed and i'm sure you'll find that pretty pretty boring so i'll crack on and won't traumatize you with that thank you ever so much for watching i really appreciate it if you could please like the video on the way out i'd appreciate that take care and i'll see you on the next one